All right, question is from Jana. Dear Jesse, I love following you and all of your great advice and workouts. They keep me motivated. You use the Smith machine for some of your leg exercises and I am confused if using the Smith machine is beneficial for everyone. Many people feel the Smith machine is the devil and should always be avoided. What is your opinion on this topic? Because I know you use the Smith machine sometimes on leg day. Hi, Jana. Well, I don't think anything is the devil unless it is 100% terrible. <laughs> and I really don't think the Smith machine is 100% terrible. Using it on leg days does have its pros and its cons. The pros being that it can help a beginner feel really comfortable with squats and many other exercises. It can really add a boost of confidence so that you can just get in the gym and get busy without setting up a squat rack or needing a spotter, things like that. I also like it so I can get really detailed with some of my leg exercises. For example, in the squat rack, I obviously can't put my feet way out in front of me and together to target my glutes and my hamstrings. If I did that in the squat rack, I would obviously fall over backward. It also helps me to keep my torso upright during lunges so that I can focus on my quads if that's your focus for that day. A lot of times when you are doing lunges, whether they're static or walking, if you have heavy dumbbells in your hands, you can tend to kind of lean forward and that really starts to target and move all of the focus to your hamstrings and your glutes, which is great if that's what you're training that day. But if you're trying to focus on quads or if it's a quad day, stuff like that, I usually try to stick to the Smith machine because it forces me to keep my torso upright and really just work on those quads and keep my form in check. The cons are that the Smith machine really forces you to kind of follow that line that the Smith machine is in. You know, when you get in the rack, you have to go with the up and down motion that that bar is stuck to. And if your hips and your knees are not perfectly aligned with that up and down movement of the machine, you could be squatting just like the ever so slightly in the wrong angle. And over time, that can lead to alignment issues and other issues and injuries and things like that. But if you're only doing it occasionally, I truly do not think you have anything to worry about. The other thing I don't really like about the Smith machine all the time is that it can really prevent you from building up your gym confidence. It's kind of like a comfort blanket. If the Smith machine and the squat rack are both available and they're both just staring at you in the face and you're lacking just a little bit of gym confidence, you're not quite sure about the squat rack, you're not quite sure how to set it up, you're not quite sure if you need a spotter or not, uh, you're always gonna choose, ugh, there's a bee in my face. Um, you're always gonna choose the Smith machine. And if your only option is the squat rack, you'll build up that confidence and you'll learn how to be a Jesse's Girls boss on leg day. So really the point of the story is that the Smith machine is not bad for you. It's not the devil, it's freaking great. Just have some balance, you know, use it sometimes, but not all the time.